Hi, I am Dr. Sharjeel and today I will present um, another neuroophthalmology case uh, and I will show you video of her three visits. Now this 10 years old female patient was brought to me by parents uh, with painful uh, decrees of vision and decrees of movements uh, and ptosis. Now if you see her eyes uh, left ptosis, conjunctival chemosis and congestion and I checked the mortality her right eye had full movements but surprisingly as you can see the left eye was frozen so there was external ophthalmoplegia then I checked the pupils and though the left pupil was reactive but bit mid dilated and isochoria was present bilateral fundi were normal visual equity was 6 6 in the right eye and 6 12 partial in the left eye now her parents said that she had flu like symptoms few weeks back but got all right and now for the last one week her eye has developed pain redness watering photophobia and become smaller unable to open completely well i advised labs to rule out infection ischemia autoimmune inflammatory pathologies uh, labs uh, came normal i advised her brain orbit uh, neuroimaging and there was some hyper intense shadows uh, at orbital apex so i diagnosed her as a case of tolosa hunt syndrome is showing axial t1 and t2 images uh, then coronal images uh, will be shown of uh, this patient uh, now important thing is that you have to differentiate Tolosa hand syndrome which is a type of orbital apex syndrome from other causes of orbital apex syndrome so Tolosa hand syndrome is a painful condition painful of thalmopagia and in other causes the pain is not evident Optic nerve is also compressed into Tolosa Hunt syndrome as well as in orbital apex other causes. So that's why there is decreased vision and parasympathetic pupillary fibers also gets affected. That's the reason for mid dilated and sluggishly reactive pupil. Optic nerve head, optic nerve is spared in superior orbital fissure as well as cavernous sinus thrombosis. So you should be able to now to differentiate between these conditions. Now what is actually Tolosa Hunt syndrome? It is the diagnosis of exclusion. It is an idiopathic condition. So rule out infections, neoplasms, other inflammatory and vascular disorders before calling it Tolosa Hunt syndrome. Now one of the possible risk factors is recent viral infection. So Tolosa Hunt syndrome is a sterile inflammation of cavernous sinus and orbital apex so that inflammation also involves optic nerve and painful of thalmoplegia is hallmark of Tolosa Hunt. Initially sixth nerve is affected because it is free floating and not protected in cavernous sinus then other cranial nerves third four they are also involved multiple cranial nerves uh, when, uh, when are affected strongly suggests the location cavernous sinus or orbital apex and an isochoria can be due to involvement of the pupillary fibers surrounding oculomotor now oral steroids are mainstay of treatment uh, so we gave this patient uh, oral steroids according to her weight uh, and the symptoms uh, they resolved uh, within few days uh, uh, signs uh, they follow the symptoms uh, first uh, third and fourth cranial nerve and then at the end sixth cranial nerve also recover now here uh, we are showing you uh, this patient on the second visit after 10 days uh, the eye is quiet and quiet uh, there is no photophobia watering redness also improved but ptosis and external ophthalmoplegia is still there and isochoria also improved so we continued the oral steroids and after three weeks the patient again presented today and here now the ptosis has been improved all movements uh, they returned back uh, except abduction 
usually abduction also return after few more weeks you can appreciate uh, 10 to 15 degrees isotropia in primary grays that's due to still uh, affected sixth cranial nerve treatment is usually required for three to four months but you can see marked imp improvement in the initial first three weeks in steroid resistant cases uh, methotrexate and other immunosuppressants can be given prognosis of a uh, Toulouse Hunt syndrome is excellent and full recovery is achieved in majority of the cases rare complication is aberrant uh, regeneration of the affected uh, cranial nerves so here uh, you can see the patient uh, with marked improvement uh, we will closely follow the patient and when the patient fully recover we will also share uh, uh, our video with you so that was all about the today's case of neuroophthalmology to Lausanne heart syndrome and after watching this you will be able to know the signs symptoms uh, that investigations uh, uh, and treatment options of uh, Toulouse Hunt syndrome and you will be able to differentiate it from cavernous sinus uh, thrombosis and superior orbital fissure syndrome I have also got a video on superior orbital fissure syndrome so you can also watch it uh, in detail you will get the idea about superior orbital fissure syndrome so thank you very much